Escape Academy Inspector Training. We're here in Lowell, Massachusetts. We're here with Bob, the building commissioner. And let's take a look at this fire escape that's had many modifications. One modification that I want you to look at, see these, see these suspensions coming down? A lot of times these suspensions are brought down so they can eliminate a lot of these supports so that the trucks can get in and out of here so that they don't smash. But aside from that, more paint than rust or more rust than paint? Still more rust than paint. More rust than paint, so that's the first violation. Number two, let's say they painted it knowing you were coming. What else are we looking for? We're looking for the evidence of maintenance. Any hex head bolts to your, in your eye? From here, it looks like most of it is, is uh, square head bolts. S square head bolts. So this is probably 50 to 75 years old or greater, because if it was rivets, it would be greater. Any cement issues, any tears in the walls, especially down here? Okay? Yeah, I see and, some. and some of the repair, does it look like it was structural repair? It looks like it was veneer repair. It's hard to tell. It looks like they just repaired the veneer. Veneer. So it's not tying back in. Some smashes of trucks, looks like it's pushed to the right. Yeah. Uh, look at your supports. Original gussets or original uh, hardware? Yeah, that's original. All the treads, original squares? Enough rain falling on the fire escape to rot it out a little faster? Probably, yeah. Smash, smash of the, by a truck yeah. on the ladders? Yeah. Yeah. The yeah, looks like something. So right now, this is, if the owner wishes to, right after he gets the violation, he can have his insurance company, he has to file a police report of a hit and run, and his insurance company will fix 100% of this fire escape because when I repair it, I cannot just repair that. I must bring it back to operational condition. So they'll minimally, they'll fix it structurally. They may not paint it, but a lot of times they'll repair it and paint it because the law says you gotta bring it back to operational condition. So a lot of times the owner gets a, a reprieve in that he got the insurance company to pay because I got damage over here, I got damage up there, and it's a hit and run. He just needs to file a police report yeah. and, and submit this to the insurance company. That it was found out after the fact, he didn't know. Now, you got ladders. That ladder's kind of kooky because it kind of blocks. It goes up, but it kind of blocks and comes into the middle. So it looks like somebody modified the ladder going up to the fourth floor. Yeah. I got some obstruction up there with some pots and plants. So all original hardware. Cement looks like it needs work. You need a renovator's license to touch this fire escape, right? Because it's got lead. Yep. You need a building permit to touch one of these bolts on this fire escape. Correct. So you need to have, uh, you have to be licensed and insured. And this fire escape right now needs to have engineer oversight because in order to verify the connections into this wall, we're going to either duplicate uh, every support uh, so that you don't have to load test it. That's the only two ways to verify this thing is load test it or certify repair every connection. And into the building, this is a pretty old structure. Uh, do you want single connections, you know, Hilti bolts, or would you want the unification on this one? Based on the age of the building, what do you think is a better recommendation to the engineer who's going to be doing the oversight? And on this fire escape, it's probably going to be about five visits um, that he's going to need to verify. But you want unification or single duplication of every connection into the wall? I, I would prefer a unification. Yeah, it's very easy to unify all of these. Very easy. Which they did up above, partially. Yeah. But I think these were done, those were suspended to pick up this for some reason. This was an unsupported something or other. Or, or I see, see this big mess? Yeah, they are in order to do this, in order, can, and, and this is a great example. Can you do this and hang off a fire escape? Was this fire escape ever rated? I know it's 100 pounds per square foot. Was it, was it rated 100 pounds per square foot and hold up an AC unit? No. So an engineer needs to come in and do a calculated load test on this and re, reconfigure this so that this system is not adding any more weight to the 100 pounds per square foot. Let's take a look at this one over here. Obviously been smashed by trucks, bends. It's a, this is a, fl a flop out ladder and it's open. See? So that's pivoted there. And even if, and, and yeah, it's a, it's a pivoted ladder, but then they froze it. It doesn't pivot anymore. See, they, they froze it on both sides. But this is what a pivot one looks like, you know? Um, as you can see that these things do do allow, but if you don't keep those greased and it's riveted, so how old do you think this fire escape is? 75 plus. So you got damage, you got obstructions. Let's take a look at now, and again, this is all from the ground. You don't have any binoculars, right? right. So you're looking for evidence of maintenance, which is just some hex heads. You see any? I don't. How about I... your paint situation? Yeah, it's more rust. More rust than paint, so you got a deterioration violation here, minimally. And structurally, you know that fire escape rust from the inside out. So you know every one of these uh, supports a suspect. So the way you'd repair this fire escape is exactly the way you'd repair that fire escape. You want the verification into the wall to be uh, nullified or duplicated. And then everything that's outside the wall, you want all connections 100% free of all rust. 
and you want any square head bolt reinforced or replaced? Replaced. And then paint it, right? And paint it. Too. And that's it. And if you're going to touch this fire escape, you better pull a permit and you better have a renovator's license. Yeah. That's all you need, right? That's all you need. That's all you need. And, then, and, and there's plenty of things to do in, in Lowell, correct? Correct. All right. <laughs>